Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I thought I would finally vlog. There have been so many times the last few days that I have started a vlog and then I'm like, forget that I'm vlogging. As dumb as that sounds, I don't like to vlog in public like around other people when they know I'm vlogging, if that makes sense. I'm just too shy. I'm not like one of those people that's like, hey, no, I have a YouTube channel. I don't, a lot of my family doesn't know I have a YouTube channel. A lot of my friends don't know I have a YouTube channel. I'm not the type that's like, let me put that out there. So. As funny as that may seem, like I'm pretty shy in person until you get to know me, which you guys might have a hard time believing, but I'm gonna try to vlog today. Today is Monday, it is a crazy busy day for us. Um, I wanted to start my vlog a little bit earlier earlier in the day, but it's already 1.20 this afternoon. Um, I had some brand deals I had to do this morning, some videos that I had to do the voiceovers for and submit, and so I had to work on that all morning after I dropped Aniston off at school. Um, and then after I did that, it was time to like have lunch and then get my makeup on and get ready for the day. So I just finished getting ready. My mom is actually in Maui right now with my brother and his family, so I got a FaceTime with her, and I'm gonna do some hard-boiled eggs in the Instant Pot. So I just got the Instant Pot out. I'm gonna see how many I can fit in here. I'm gonna try to do all 18 of these eggs. Um, I have to pick the kids up from school. They get out in a little bit over two hours. So I leave here about 3.10, 3.15. Um, my kitchen is an absolute mess, so I wanted to kind of maybe incorporate like a clean with me in this because I know YouTube is not judgmental, like my TikTok can be, and I love you guys so much for that. So I thought I would do a clean with me part of the vlog while I'm here vlogging on YouTube. Um, Cohen has practice tonight, so we have to leave at 4.30, and his practice is five to seven, and then Jackson has an intense, super amazing game tonight that I cannot wait to go watch at 7.30. We are playing our number one rival, which is also one of his best friends team, so I have to leave practice maybe 10 minutes early so I can get to Jackson's game on time. So I'm gonna like pack dinner and take it with us. Um, I'll make a sandwich for Cohen because he's picky, salads for Chris and myself. Chris and Jackson will probably actually just eat what I make before they leave for the field because they won't leave here till like 6.15 or 6.30, but I'll have to take my salad with me, eat it during Cohen's practice, then he can eat his sandwich on our way to Jackson's game because it'll probably take us about an hour to drive to his game because um, Cohen practices like way out in the middle of nowhere. And then I'll pack some chicken and a thermos for Aniston that she can eat while we watch Cohen's practice. So. Now that I've kind of gotten that out of the way and I'm all over the place, I'm just gonna put all of these hard boiled eggs here in the Instant Pot. I'll show you guys once I have them in. I do the five, five, five method. So if you guys haven't tried that, I recommend it. It makes the best hard boiled eggs. They're so easy to peel, perfectly done. Um, you'll just have to Google it because I feel like I'm terrible at explaining it. But basically you set your Instant Pot to uh, manual high pressure for five minutes. It kind of takes like five minutes to build to pressure, then you let it cook for five minutes, and then you let it um, the pressure release naturally for five minutes. And then after that, you quick release the rest of the pressure, put the eggs in an ice bath to stop the cooking process, and then they are done. And you just put them in the fridge. So super easy, and I got a whole 18 eggs in here. Um, but I guess I should probably also let you guys know that you do want to put um, one cup of water in the bottom of the Instant Pot. Let me show you really quick. And I set my eggs, hold on. We're gonna flip you guys down. I set my eggs on the like metal grate that comes in here. So I put one cup of water in the Instant Pot, put the eggs in there, uh, the metal grate in there, and then put the eggs on top. And then you're just going to put the lid on, make sure that this is sealed. And then I come down here and I do manual. And it's already set on five because that's like one of the main things I make in the Instant Pot all the time. And then sometimes I write and marker on this like hard boiled eggs and then put them back in here after they've been in the ice bath and cooled. Other times I um, just put them in the fridge in a bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this camera up I think for a clean with me. So we're gonna do that and then I'm going to see how much I can get done before I have to leave to get the kids from school. And I, like I said, I know you guys are not judgmental. I'm gonna kind of show you right now. This is real life. This is real life in the Kramer house. So this is what my kitchen looks like right now. A mess, an absolute mess. One thing I hate, I love having an island, but I hate that it's become a catch-all for my kids. This is my fault, mine, I have to put these in the fridge. Jackson's swim trunks, he decided not to wear these when he went to the pool the other day, left them down here, this was yesterday. Aniston's colored pencils, um, Cohen has Legos out there on the countertop. Um, 
These are some clean dishes I just have to put away. I get asked a lot, do your kids have chores? Yes, my kids do have chores. Um, we don't have like a necessarily a set chore schedule like or specific chore duties. I'll be like, hey, could you please do this? Can you do that? So I wanna get as much done as I can before they get home from school because a messy kitchen just gives me massive anxiety and I hate when my countertops are cluttered and this is beyond cluttered. Um, I got new dishes so I need to figure out what I wanna do with these. They are clean. That's my hat I need to put away. This is needs to go in the laundry room. Like I'm telling you guys, it is bad. And part of the reason why it's so messy is Saturday we were gone for, let's see, we left Saturday morning at 7.15, no, seven. We had to be there at 7.15. We left Saturday morning at 7 a.m. We didn't get home until 10 p.m. We came home in between in the afternoon for one hour to refill water bottles and change, Chris had to change in softball gear and we headed back out. So when I say we were gone all day Saturday, I mean we were literally gone all day Saturday. So Sunday was kind of like a, oh my gosh, can we catch our breath? So we got up, I had coffee, relaxed, I had to pay bills, I had to help my mom pay her bills because bless her heart, she still hasn't gotten the hang of that. Um, my dad used to do all of that. So I paid her bills, paid my bills, then I had to film one of the videos for the brand deals that I had. Um, that was an obligation I had to do and that took quite a while to film. Um, Anison did it with me. And then we had all-stars practice. So literally I got home from filming the brand deal. Um, it had to be filmed in a store. I came home, finished up filming the part of it that had to be filmed at home. And we literally like left for Jackson's practice. And then he had baseball last night, at five to 7.30. Then I came home and I had to cook dinner. So by that time the kids were in bed at nine o'clock and I was done for. So that's why my house looks like this. Um, <laughs> I need to catch up on the entire house but I'm gonna do it a little bit at a time. Tomorrow, I'll, I don't have anything really going. We're taking the kids swimming with my best friend after school. So tomorrow, I'm gonna spend literally all day cleaning. So if I could just get the kitchen done today, I will feel so much better. So I'm gonna hang up off of here, get my camera set up somewhere that you guys can hopefully have a good view, and then I'll obviously do like a, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the clean with me. I'll probably add some music to it and make it like three or four speed so it goes by super fast, but I will be back. <laughs> Okay, I am back and I'm gonna be super rushed because I have to go get my kids from school. I have to leave here in like five minutes to go get them. But 
The reason why I had to end like the whole clean with me thing by you saw me go like this, I realized my camera battery <laughs> needed to be charged so I had to stop that, charge the battery while I finished up the kitchen and now I'm gonna show you I got everything done. I just have to finish drying the dishes and putting them away which I'm gonna try to get done before I get the kids. We'll see. But I thought I'd come back on now because it's less chaotic than when the kids are first home from school. So, washed the water bottles for tonight. Um, I just have to dry these. This is clean. It's dry. I should put that away now, actually. So then you have all of these clean dishes. All of this is dry and needs to be, or not dry, clean. I need to dry and put away. And then I just need to take the water bottles out to the garage fridge. Dishes are done. These two I need to fill because we are taking, this is mine and this is Aniston's. We are taking these to the game tonight. So those are sitting out um, ready to go. And then I got all the countertops cleaned off. I have a couple things I need to go through over here. There's a couple cookbooks I need to give my best friend and the drawer organizer I need to put in the junk drawer. Um, and then literally I'm waiting for this chicken to be done so I can go get the kids. It has one minute left, but I just made the Tyson chicken tenderloins. These are for the kids. I'll probably actually make a sandwich for Cohen. Um, but I'll reheat Aniston's, cut it up and put it in a thermos, and then I'll take like a plastic container, some Tupperware to the game and put some barbecue sauce in it. And then I'll dump it in there and she can eat that for dinner. Jackson and Chris don't have to leave until like 6, 15, 630. So they'll just reheat theirs and eat it at home. Chris will probably make a salad. See my ring light was on. I was live on TikTok for a little while while I waited for my camera battery to charge. Um, I'm part of a TikTok live partner group or partner program. So I have to go live X amount of hours every week, which it goes by super fast. I love going live. But anyways, once I get home from getting the kids, I will come home and I will get like my salad thrown together, Cohen's sandwich made and get Aniston's um, chicken in the thermos and ready to go. And we'll obviously check back in with you guys when the kids get home. So I just thought I would show you, I did get the kitchen cleaned and then I'll, I'll have to show you that I will get the dishes put away, I promise. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Going to Jackson's game. We y'all and I'm bringing all my scrunchies. Scrunch me's. So we just got done at Cohen's practice. We had to leave a little bit early, but who had some great hits? And I got them all on video, so I will upload that. It will be right before this clip. Um, I had to swing by the house. I wanted to go straight there, but Chris forgot this binder he needed that I reminded him like four times to grab, and he didn't remember. So I stopped to grab that for him, and then Cohen requested I grab the Nerdy Nuts Brownie Butter. We always take snacks to games, but apparently we are upping our snack game at baseball games by bringing Nerdy Nuts Brownie Butter. Um, this stuff does not taste like peanut butter at all, and then I'm bringing him a bunch of pretzels that he can dip in it. What, bud? 
I have Chex Mix too. Yep. We are good to go. So we are going to head out now. I will try to film Jackson up to bat at his game. And then we will update you guys after that. Cross your fingers. We're playing our biggest rival and one of Jackson's best friends, like I said earlier. So Wait, it? it's exciting. Um, but yeah, so my neighbor's watching me vlog. So I'm going to go ahead and take off. So, all right, guys, we will check back in. Say bye. bye. Say bye. 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 <laughs> bye. trying to hug you. <laughs> okay, thanks for that. Hey guys, it is like 10.20 and we are finally home. I wanted to close the vlog out with Jackson before he went to bed and I honestly forgot I was gonna go take my makeup off and I was like, oh, I've gotta close out the vlog. So what an amazing day. It was long, but it was amazing. Um, Jackson's team won again tonight, so they are 10 and 0, heading into the championships undefeated. Um, they played, I think the final score was nine to three, played an amazing game. Um, I'll put what I did get on my phone. It, you'll see the clips prior to this um, in the vlog. But Aniston took my phone for some of the game and her and her friends were playing Among Us. Sorry, excuse Tilly running down the stairs. She sounds like a herd of cattle. Um, they were all playing Among Us and so Cohen had Chris's phone, Annie had my phone and they were all sitting in this like little circle. There was like six or eight of them playing Among Us. So. I totally forgot my camera in the car, so I couldn't even vlog with my camera when he was up to bat. So I did get a couple of times, I think maybe once that he was up to bat on my phone. So he was up to bat three times. The first time he struck out, but he struck out swinging. The second time he hit a single, but he got thrown out at first. And then the third time he hit a double. I did not get the double on film and I'm so bummed. It was an amazing hit. And then he also had an unassisted double play. He also made a couple other really great catches when he was playing second, but the unassisted double play was amazing. Um, I just need to film like the entire game. I wish I could do that, I can't. When I'm trying to watch Cohen and Aniston, visiting with my friends, it's impossible to film the entire game, but it was a fantastic night. So now I believe their championship game, this is for regular season pony ball is Monday night. I don't know the time yet, I have to double check. And then this Wednesday, so coming in two days now, they have their All-Stars game. So they'll play two games then and that will determine if we go to California or not. So please say, um, if you're into prayers, say some prayers for us, send good thoughts, good vibes our way. Our boys have worked so incredibly hard for this um, and it would just be amazing for them to have the opportunity to just go to California for that experience. Just to be able to say like, we got to go to California. It would be amazing. So we are so proud of them. They have played a fantastic season um, and it has been so awesome to see like their growth and how they connect as a team they all just like vibe so well together all the parents are amazing like i love everyone from this team so much it's just a great great group of kids and a great group of parents you literally cannot ask for anything better all the siblings are fantastic cohen and anison have great friends that are siblings on the team when i say you can ask for anything more you really couldn't so i just wanted to jump on and update you guys um I'm gonna go get my nails filled tomorrow and I'm thinking our team colors are red and black. So I was like, what if I did red and black and then like my ring finger do like a baseball? How cute would that be for like all stars? Um, so maybe I'll do that. And then I'm gonna try to vlog on Wednesday when we have the all stars game. So just wanted to come on and close the vlog out and let you guys know what all went on. So I'll insert any clips I have from my phone um, from Cohen's practice and from the game. I have like a two minute clip of Cohen batting tonight that I'll include for you guys because that'll make his day. So thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is having a great week and I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. Bye guys.